Number 1. Denali National Park In the northern part of the Alaska Range, Denali is the third largest national park in the United States, encompassing North America's highest mountain. Denali is the 20,320-foot peak's traditional name, but modern explorers dubbed it Mount McKinley. The name of the mountain remained a controversy for over 100 years, and in 2015, Denali became the official name for North America's highest peak. Number 2 Tracy Arm Fjord A fjord edged with glaciers, Tracy Arm is located south of Juneau and is a popular destination for cruise ships and boat tours. Waterfalls tumble down the sharp rock walls and glaciers calve, creating small icebergs. The scenic setting lies within the Tracy Arm Fjord's terror wilderness of the Tongass National Forest. At the head of the fjord sit the twin Sawyer glaciers. Number 3, Kenai Fjords National Park Protecting much of the fjord-riddled coastline of the Kenai Peninsula, south of Anchorage, this national park offers some of the best sightseeing in Alaska. Panoramic images of the park take in the many glaciers of the 700-square-mile Harding Icefield and an uninhabited coastline. And the national park is home to monstrously large brown bears that feed on the fat-rich salmon. Number 4, Alaska Highway also known as the Alaska-Canada Highway, Alcan Highway, the Alaska Highway runs from Dawson Creek in British Columbia, Canada, through the Yukon Territory to Delta Junction near Fairbanks. It was built for military purposes in 1942, during World War II, in the record time of only eight months. Since the end of the war, the route has been the most important means of access by land to the Yukon Territory and Southern Alaska. Number 5 University of Alaska Museum of the North Located in Fairbanks, the University of Alaska Museum of the North offers more than one million historical artifacts and natural history pieces. The permanent collection includes ethnological items made and used by indigenous groups and a fine arts collection that focuses mainly on Alaskan art. The collection also features archaeological finds from prehistoric cultures, an assemblage of birds, and several paleontology specimens. Number 6. Inside Passage The most popular way to visit the Inside Passage is to cruise through the fjords on large ships, charter boats, and private yachts. Another option is to stop off the highway at Haines, Skagway, or Hyder. This section of southeast Alaska offers incredible scenery of glaciers, mountains, and ocean, and is home to an abundance of wildlife. The area is also inhabited by the Tlingit, Haida, and Tsimshian peoples. Number 7, Dalton Highway. Accessible from Fairbanks and Anchorage, the Dalton Highway stretches over 400 miles into Alaska's far north region, eventually reaching the outpost of Prudhoe Bay. Built adjacent and in conjunction with the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, the road is extremely remote, rugged, and not well-traveled outside of oil field workers. Number 8, Alaska Native Heritage Center. Offering more than just a look into the lives and values of Alaska's 11 major cultural groups, the Alaska Native Heritage Center provides hands-on interaction with music, people, and art. Alongside interpretive information, the Heritage Center is a place to connect with the community and participate in programs and events. Number 9 Wrangell ST, Elias National Park and Preserve Wrangell ST, Elias National Park and Preserve is the largest and most magnificent of Alaska's sprawling national parks. It contains nine of the 16 highest peaks in the United States. This grandiose mountain region on the frontier with Canada contains numerous glaciers, lakes, and mountain streams, and is home to a rich variety of wildlife. Wrangell ST, Elias is a superb country for climbers, walkers, and water sports enthusiasts. Number 10, Iditarod National Historic Trail. Alaska's only national scenic trail, the Iditarod National Historic Trail consists of a network of trails totaling more than 2,300 miles between Nome, on the Bering Strait, and Seward, near Anchorage. Originally used by ancient hunters and later by gold prospectors, the trail is now used, and best known, for the Iditarod Trail sled dog race. Extensive landscapes surround the entire route, offering beautiful views of mountains, glaciers, and wildlife. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.